Amen. So, Rashad just went over the this tower being set up and this tower showing their 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 finances and and so forth and that that shall be brought to naught. And also last Sabbath we looked at um, last Sabbath Kanar went over. Um, he shown us he went over some some rules and some old things to go and show us how how God shows his work through 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 these um means on 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 the earth because Christ uses both the north and the south Christ uses the the deceived and the deceiver all these are an illustration of the work of God so this is what Kanar went over this illustration and then Rashad went over looking at the finances being dried up which is which is a part of which is a part of Satan's kingdom that will be hurt as well in this time period because because every facet of of him will be hurt but now would you look at this one portion this financial structure so we're gonna go through these notes and if and if we're not finished that that's fine we don't need need to rush through these notes but I would I want everyone to understand why why we are saying what we are saying so we're gonna pick up from last week and just go through a little bit of a recap with Daniel 8 it says, and as I was considering, <clears throat> beholding he goat came from the west on the face of the whole earth and touched not the ground. And the goat had a what? Notable, Notable horn between his eyes. So which, which kingdom is this? Greece. It's Grisha. It has this notable horn. Um, jump down to verse 8. Therefore the he goat waxed very great. And when he was strong, the great horn was broken, and for it, and for it came up four notable ones toward the four winds of heaven. Okay, so one second. I may want to add a verse in here. All right, let's go to Daniel eight twenty one. It's not not in your notes. Daniel chapter eight verse twenty one. If there's any other points and comments you want to bring forth, by all means, please. <clears throat> Daniel 8, verse 21. It says, And the rough goat is the king of Grisha, and the great horn that is between his eyes is the first king. So when it says the rough goat is the king, speaking about this king is this kingdom of Grisha, the goat itself, keep this in mind, the goat itself is the kingdom of Grisha. And... Um, and the great horn is the first king. And who's this first king of Grisha, of the kingdom of Grisha? Amen. Alexander the Great. Amen. And Alexander the Great is typifying who, Quentin? Biden. Biden. Amen. So, this is going to be my rendition, actually. I'm, I'm going to still enjoy it. This, this is symbolizing the goat. And this one horn is... It, th this great horn is Alexander the Great. So this is Greece. This is the, put G-H for this great horn. This Alexander the Great. It's this first king. So we're going to look at what this means. Go to Dan 11 verse 3. It's, it's in the notes. And a mighty king shall stand up that shall rule with great dominion and do according to his will. And when he shall stand up, his kingdom shall be broken and shall be divided toward the four winds of heaven and not to his posterity, nor according to his dominion, which he ruled for his kingdom shall be plucked up even for others besides beside those. So this great horn is broken and four come up after. And this is what Rashad was showing that from from Genesis 19, 11, sorry, with the Tower of Babel, when is this one 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 world movement government? It's broken. They were scattered to the four winds. So this one tower symbolizing there, this, this one world government was broken. And it's, this is an illustration of the same thing that happens to Grisha. It's, I'm not saying that Babel is Greece, but what happened to Babel is, a, is an illustration of what's going to happen to Greece. It's all the same thing because it's all Satan's kingdom. Go ahead, Quint. That was a hand. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah, they, they had they had two before and then they and then and then the two went down and brought up only one. And it's just like the two horns and then the Amen, yes, yeah, and the north and the south towers were hit. And then the one um tower came yes. That thought was raised. Um I don't know anything past that point. I don't I don't I don't uh profess to understand it past that point. What? North and south is the cloak. Mm-hmm. Amen. Asserting himself. Amen. Okay. So, I want y'all to keep this in mind. This great horn is not the beast. And the beast is not the horn. The beast is the, is the whole kingdom. And the horn is the king of that kingdom. Yes, the first king of this kingdom. And from TMR, I think, the three angels' message of Revelation. That's what it, TMR stands for. Can't remember which pioneer it is, but let's read this. It says, we understand these horns to denote the civil and religious power of this nation. It's Republican civil power and it's Protestant, and it's Protestant ecclesiastical. So the two horns of the lamb-like beast are, is showing the powers of the beast, but it's not the beast itself. The two horns of the nation is not the beast because when the two horns go down, the United States is still going. The son-in-law, two horns are gone. But the United States is still upon the earth. The kingdom is not gone as yet. Um, Jump down to the bold. The civil power of Grisha was represented by the great horn of the goat. This is what he's, he's given this distinction between the horns and the beast itself. And when that civil power was broken, the beast still continued to exist. And, 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 excuse me, and in the place of, the, of that one civil government arose four. Okay. Yeah, in the last sentence it says, and the horns of the beast denote the civil and religious powers of the nation. Just so I just have this quote again, because we read it last last Sabbath, just to show the difference between the horn and the and the um and the beast itself. So I'm not gonna go through everything with Genesis eleven. Shall I went through some of this? I mean read some of it last Sabbath as well. So yet again just just a repeat that this the Tower of Babel is this is showing this one one world government and verse four is it verse four no let's, let's go read verse six it says and the lord said behold the people is what one and they have they have all what one language and this they begin to do and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have um imagined to do so when the world is one and their language is one, nothing is restrained from them. And Satan is only taking this from God's kingdom because when God's people are one, one um, in Christ, nothing is, is restrained from them to do. Because the Bible says if you have faith at, as, as a grain of mustard seed, what, what can you do? Move Amen. You can move nations, move mountains. So once you're one with Christ, nothing is really restrained from you. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. Oh, that was another point. I, I'm not sure if I have the quote in here. She says that this took place in the infancy of, of the world. Cause this was right after the flood. And she calls this the infancy. And the Lord stopped it in its infancy. But we, we know and we said last Sabbath that all these things will happen again in its maturity. Once the nation is, once the, excuse me, once the earth is ripe and it's mature, this one, one world movement will come back and, 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 and it will not be checked until Christ comes. That is the only time it will be checked. So this time when it's checked by the light and it's showing the coming of Christ. But um, that that is that is more fully fulfilled in the Son of Law crisis. All right, so all right, let's go to page of the prophets one nineteen, paragraph two. Page of the prophets one nineteen point two says, when the tower had been partially completed, a portion of it was occupied as a dwelling place for the builders. 
Other apartments, splendidly furnished and adorned, were, were devoted to their idols. The people rejoiced in, this, in their success and praised the gods of silver and gold. So they're lifting up this financial structure. And set themselves against the ruler of heaven and earth. Suddenly, the work that, that, that had been advanced and so prosperously was checked. Angels were sent, sent to bring... Were sent... Were sent to bring to not the, the purpose of the builders. The tower had reached a lofty height. So when this, as we read in Daniel 11, and, and when this mighty king stands up, he shall be broken. So when this um, lofty, when this tower reached this lofty height, it was broken. This lightnings came and broke the top of it to show God's displeasure. Okay. Let's go to 123, paragraph 1. Keep in mind, Babel is just an illustration of, of the southern power as well. They're, they have the same agenda, but they go, they go forward in it in different ways. But they have the same atheistic spirit because they both have the same dragon spirit, which is Satan. It says, can someone read the first sentence for me? Page on Prophets 123. The men of Babel. Amen. So they want to be separate, divested fully from God and, and have themselves to rule themselves. All right. Now. Let's go down to. Page of the Prophets 123.3. Actually, point two. We'll read the bold portion. In mercy to the world, he 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 defeated the the excuse me the purpose of the tower builders and and overthrew the the of their daring. Amen. In mercy, he confounded their speech, thus putting a check on their purposes of rebellion. So, so the confounding of their speech is mercy onto them. So this, so because, because then she, okay, now we'll go ahead. Mm -hmm. so they were children, Sons, lineage, yes. Yeah, and they separated mostly, they were separated mostly because they wanted to, because they wanted to, because they wanted to do their, um, their own thing. Mm -hmm. So knowing that God knew that they, they rebelled from their, the, you know, from the right, being on the right track, mm -hmm. and He still didn't, you know, He still had mercy. He just showed them how merciful He is because Amen. He destroyed them from that very moment. Amen. You know, and He still let them go ahead and do what they wanted to do for a little bit, and then He still didn't destroy them. Amen. So. This sign here, this sign comes in mercy because because this is just now, this is, this is to show them that this will soon come if they do not do not turn from their um from their wrong course from their perverse way. So, so now to PUR November nineteenth nineteen o three, paragraph four speaking about Babel as well. It says this. A man was born of rebellion against God. The d d d d d dwellers on the plain of Shinar established their kingdom for self-exaltations, not for the glory of God. Had they succeeded, a mighty power would have borne sway, banishing righteousness and what? Inaugurating a new religion. So the Lord, the Lord will, the, the Lord must stop, stop it in, in, in the type because it will bring out this new religion. And we are not ready for this, for this test. But Christ will allow this to happen in the Son of Law crisis because, because we would be ready at that time because we would have lived up to all the light in which, which um, God has sent. Amen. Go ahead. All right. So I have this quote again from TMR, 
as we go along. Just to, so you can keep, so that these things can still be in, in mind. That the civil power of Grisha was represented by the great horn of the goat. And when that civil power was broken, the beast still continued to exist. And in the place of that one civil government arose four. All right. So now can someone read SSP 308 paragraph one? SSP 308 paragraph one. And now take the same rule and now and now we'll see it. Yes. Okay, in in whose hands? Amen. Yes, it will be. All of this will now be put into the hands of of, of the church. So now the church will have ha, have the unbounded resources of this country. And now when the church has the unbounded resources of this country, it will go forward and put forth laws and do all do all that it can to to force men to go worship the beast and his image. Amen. Yes. Yeah, that, that's, that's what happened in Daniel 11 40. And the chariot ships and the, um, the horsemen. It, it was all, the, the church had all this, all this power and, and it took down world atheism. The, um, the, the newspapers called it the, the, the czar of world atheism. So it, it forced the whole world to bow down to it. Continue on. Repudiates. Okay, so now we have this battle between the North and the South. And the North in United States politics is what? Republics. It's the Republicans. Republicans. And the South is what? The Democrats. And we, and we see from Dan 11 verse 3 that this, um, that Biden is this Democrat and he's, he's coming from this West. He, yeah, he's coming from the West. You have this Grecian kingdom with this, with this great horn, which is this first king. And this, and this um, king is a, just as Quentin said previously, is Biden. And he's a what in the scope of the North and South here? He's a Southern man, a Democrat. So he's just the king of the system of this democracy. This is what I want to get to that. This, this beast is this, is this, is, is this democracy. And, and um, it tells us here that, that democracy gives way to a king, the oil king, the, the coal king, the oil king, and the mo or the money king. So, it ha and it says, a few men dictate to the masses. So now, this, this system here is, is, what will, um, is what will bring forth this, 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 um, this one world rule to go forward to, to, to control each man and, 
and 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 the oil king shows that the coil the coal king shows that and the money king so just as we saw that happened last week with the stock market now 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 laws must be in place so that so that the poorer classes cannot cannot revolt and um and then and then overthrow the 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 higher men the money men so now the this this system will will go forward to work and put a king over the stock market a king a king a, a king over the the um over Facebook, the king over Twitter, and all these uh, and, and, and all these things, so that this system can can continue on, and this system only brings about the fourth kingdom. It brings about Rome. Brings up this little horn. And go ahead. Mm-hmm. Amen. Okay. Amen. The king has to give their power. Mm -hmm. the They're the money men. They're the one. The oil king, the coal king. Mm -hmm. They're the same king. Amen. And the Bible said they reign for one hour with the beast. So they are the one that he's given their um that that the uh, strength. That that part. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's part of the system. Because when you come under this when you come under this fourth kingdom, they're both there. Amen. You have to see that they're both there on this one. Come on. So. Okay. Just as Swinon was saying is that when you look at this, th this image here, this image here is broken up into four parts, but it's all this one man. And, and this one man is just showing this man of sin. And, and each one of these is just a different system of the same man of sin. It's the same thing that Satan uses. He uses every single one of one of these these systems to go in, to go in, um, control man, because that's what it says here. And now democracy is just doing its own work. Democracy is just, it has its own, own work, work, work to bring about this again through, through, through the United States. It's all one, one image and they're all, they all have one agenda because Satan is the one that, that is guiding the minds of these evil men. So, and the quote also tells us, says, the distinction between the rich and the poor becomes more marked. So as, as time go on, we'll see this rich and poor um, issue being shown a lot, lot more. Because what happened last week, and I think two weeks ago as well, that with, with, with the stock market is showing this, th this distinction between the rich and the poor, the high and the low. And all, all of this is just preparing for the son-in-law crisis. So... We're going to Dan 11, verse 43. This is speaking about the king of the north. It's speaking about the, um, the church. It says, but he shall have power over the treasures of what? Gold and of silver. And, and, and all the precious things of Egypt and the Libyans and the Ethiopians shall be at his steps. So when we looked at this years ago, they are showing which... Which group here? The these um yeah, the poor. amen. It's showing one is showing the poor and the other is showing the rich. the rich, and the rich and the poor shall be at his steps. That both rich and poor will go and worship after the beast and his image. So democracy, this beast here, is just is just doing it, its work to bring about bring about this this end and after biden is gone four come up but they're still under the system of democracy just as the men of shechem um fought against um what's his name again fought against yeah yes they both wanted the same system but they both fought fought each other so likewise the same thing with the with the um the four generals that come up after alexander the great Amen. Yes, it's this it's this equality movement, but it's it's a false equality. Okay, another. I forgot to read this point. Let's go back up. Sorry, to page of prophets one twenty three point three. This whole system of democracy will only just bring about confusion. It's just another illustration of this of of, of the Tower of Babel or, or Babylon itself. It's just confusion. Can someone read? Page of the Prophets 
Okay, so right now Biden is the monument of their pride. But with their monument of pride will be their what? Memorial of their folly. When this horn is broken, you will see that um, their, their folly of trying to put up a king. It's the same thing with, with Saul. When Saul fell, when King Saul fell, it showed them the, 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 the uh, memorial of their folly of wanting to bring up a king. It's all, it's all the very same thing. Continue on. Continue on. Speak up. Amen. So it is the same principle that Satan tried to carry out in heaven. <clears throat> Satan is only just replaying what he did in heaven through all these kingdoms, through all these powers. So now, next paragraph from GC 88, 380, says the term Babylon is derived from Babel and signifies confusion. So we saw that, that Shad went over said it ended in blood, bloodshed and strife. It ended in this confusion. And what confusion means? A mixture of several things. Disorder, tumult, want of order in society. So this is what it will end up leading to. It will end up leading to this want of order in society. Because democracy is going to bring about this oil king, this coal king, or this money king. It will end up in, 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 this, in this great, great, great divide between rich and poor. This is just only one portion of the great controversy. Is this showing this financial structure that will, that will, that will be brought down. Go ahead. <clears throat> Several things. Melting pot, yes. Confused nation. Yes, that's another. Because you see, you see it in Acts two. Go ahead, Quentin. Amen. Amen. Because they they take all the wealth and put it into one area. And therefore, this will this will I forgot. Um. An yes. Ah. Yeah. That, that's exactly what it is. And then that will burst, and it will burst at the head. Usually, it, it, it comes comes it, yeah it com comes to the brain, and it will burst at the head. And we will look at that when the head is burst. So, and Rashad also went over this point that. We see that the fifth day, fourth month is the time of the end. And then, and it says, um, what book is open here? Huh? The little book and the book of Daniel. Daniel. The book of Daniel is open. And from this, this point, Daniel 11 and 3 has been opening up onto us. From this point onward. So this is something we need to understand is this kingdom of Grisha. It's this, it's, it's this system of, the system of, of democracy. Because... This system must must do its work, and and this system is just preparing the way for this for this little horn to come up. Okay. Um. All right. So now we're gonna look at the temple cleansing. Go to two SP one sixteen point one. May I have a reader for this quote, please? The Babel of voices. What do you mean? It's just in the context. Yeah, it's just many voices. That's the Babel of voices. Yeah, it's Babel. Babel. Like it's a real cat, cat, and stone, and rifle. I think this is um, is on purpose to to go refer you right back to to Babel. But go ahead. Oh, that's deep. Mm -hmm. The Babel of voices, the noises of animals, and the 
account of, of their of their driver's career to cut their confusion just without the, the sacred precincts that the, the worshippers were within were disturbed. And the words addressed to the most high were drowned in the uproar that invaded the temple erected to his glory. Yet the Jews were excellently proud exceedingly proud of their piety and tenacious of, of outward observance and form. They rejoiced over their over their temple and regarded a, a word spoken in its disfavor as blasphemy. They were they were rigorous in the performance of ceremonies connected with it, yet allowed yet allowed the love of money and power to overrule their scruples. They till till they were scarcely aware Mm -hmm. Yeah, scarcely aware of, of the distance they had they had wandered from the original purity of their sacrificial ceremonies instituted by God Himself. Amen. So this is talking about this is in uh, speaking of John John chapter two. So there's this babel of voices. It's this confusion. There's many voices happening, and the and and their main main thing that um their main view is to get gain it says here is that yet yet excuse me yet uh, uh, yet allowed the love of money and power and since what says is this uh, she has this quote that that she says with the um she has, she has a dream and and then in it it says that riches is power so the system wants to um keep Keep all the wealth so that so that so that it can assert its power. But Satan will, will just use this system just to bring about the little horn, because the little horn is what will truly use this system, because that's what Rome Rome did. It used that system in its in its um in its fullest sense, basically. <clears throat> Ah uh, yes, amen. And the confu yes, it must be hush. Same with the Tower of Babel. The 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 confusion there was hush. Amen. He came up with this scourge of small chords. So keep this in mind. Um, next paragraph. Can someone read this quote as well? Fifteen MR thirty five point two. Okay. They have brought in what? Dishonest practices. So let's look at what took place last week. All of this is just telling us of what will soon come. The dishonest practices of the of the stock market will be brought down as well. And and it's nice because Christ Christ used the simple to go and go and confound the what? The wise. The, because last week it was it, it was just men men like us trading to go in um and and excuse me and those men brought down brought down the the rich wise men so that is just showing the same thing in which in which um in which in which he would do again he'll use the simple to go and bring down the worldly wise the simple is the LPC Go ahead, swing in. When you read this, it's talking about the temple. So Wall Street is a temple of finance. Mm hmm. Oh, yes. And um, Nancy Pelosi continuously says that the hill is this temple of democracy. Oh, so yes. take this quote and apply it now to Congress. Mm -hmm. And you're basically saying that these Republicans and Democrats mm -hmm. come to Congress with dishonest, dishonest practices. practices to influence men. Mm -hmm. Buying and selling, whatever. It's, it's dealing. That's what mm -hmm. Congress is. It's dealing. May I give you this law? Mm -hmm. You give me that law. Yeah, it's, yeah, amen. This is what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But everybody's coming in and they're buying, basically, they're buying low and selling high. Amen. Because at the end of the day, they're always rich. Mm -hmm. you know, so amen. It's, it's the same we apply. I think one of the partners have a quote that says some, something that very sort as well. But, all right, continue on. Okay, so what does this sound like today? You buy low and sell high. It's the trade. It's the stock market. That's it. 
Amen. Speculation. This is exactly what it is. You buy low, you sell high. Hmm? Yes, real estate and all these things. That's buying low, selling high. So, the system will be brought down. This, this, the, the system to, to amass wealth will be brought down. That's what happened in France. It, it, it brought, it brought about a civil war. That's what happened in France. Just look back, and all these same things are going to happen again. Just take God's word, and we can see it being fulfilled right now as we speak. But all these things are just telling us what will soon come. Continue on. Amen. So they gained they gained all of this by robbery and extortion. This is what we can the the Jews the Jews show you every man. The, the Jews show you every system, every every system, every um thing of of this world because that is that is what God's word is showing. It's showing the Jews, it's showing God's people. But they're but but they're all illustrating what will take place in, at 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 the end of the world. So so this here is, is illustrating the works of the stock market. Therefore, the works of the stock market will come to what? Will come to naught. It will come to nothing. And and we know this because the Bible tells us that the east wind struck the what? The ships of Tarshish. So the financial structure will be brought down. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. All they do, as soon as Christ left the temple, they came right they back. All came back so mm -hmm. the not increase the pressure and scatter them again. And that's going to happen until we get to the final destruction of that temple. Amen. So, just as when it said, 9 11 shows us this. Because of, because of some, um, some, some wrong things in which they have done, this is why Islam attacked. And, and, and the, wrong, uh, the, the wrong thing was shown since 1989. From that point onward, they must um, reap, reap the seed in which they have sown, and then that th that attack on on that attack on that day led to a financial um um crisis in in 2007, 2008 onward. So 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 it just it was felt throughout. Yeah, amen. For like yeah, it was like ten years after. So it was felt for many years after. Likewise, it's gonna happen again. So. Christ broke up the stock market in this paragraph by what? A scourge. So a scourge will have to come to stop them in this, in this, in this evil work of oppression, of this amassing wealth to go and force men to go and worship, to force men to, to live a certain way. This is a this is this is oppression. She calls it as well in other, other portions of um, of her writings. So, now we'll read it from Desire Ages 155, paragraph 1 and 2. And this says the same, the very same things, but she uses different words to illustrate the very same things in what she said in 15 MR. Can I have a reader for, <clears throat> for this quote? This is every Jew. Besides this, large sums were brought as free will offerings to be deposited in the temple treasury, and it was required that all foreign coin should be changed for a coin called the temple shekel, which was accepted for the service of the sanctuary. The money changing was gave opportunity for fraud and extortion, and it had grown into a disgraceful traffic, which was a source of revenue to the priests. And can you read the next... 
Yeah, the next quote as well. The dealers demanded exorbitant prices for the animals sold, and they shared their profits with the priests and rulers, who thus enriched themselves at the expense of the people. The worshippers had been taught to believe that if they did not offer sacrifice, the blessings of God would not rest on them, on their children, or their land. Thus a high price for the animals could be secured, for after coming so far, the people would not return to their homes without performing the act of devotion for which they had come. Amen. Oh, the my Eli's sons, yes. When the people would come to sacrifice, they mm. would require the, the fat. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, they would eat, eat, eat the best part. They would take the best part. Amen. So, just as we reference that quote, we have the coal king, the money king, and the oil king. All these, all, all these are showing these little, um, showing these, these, um, wealth in this system, and this system wants to control all systems in the United States because Greece is just showing this one world movement. It's this one world government. So democracy wants to um, control this, um, all things, the, the fi financial structure and, and, and everything else in the United States. All these systems and structures are on just this one head. Go ahead. Amen, yes. By taking those things on themselves and being able to afford nothing else, it's putting them in this new tribal system. Amen, yes. So, yeah. and, and that dictator will be the whore. Is the, 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 the church will be in charge of all of this. Amen, yes. It's the head. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, they... um. Amen. So I'm just going over this just to show one portion of this whole system. They, they want to control money. And we saw during the week of January 6th and the weeks, um, weeks, weeks going on, they also want to control speech and, and, um, yeah, and, amen, and government. And we know that they want to control government because they have, they have, they they have the the house and the senate and they have the executive branch as well so so they want to control everything so this this system is about control and when you read what some of the pioneers speak about the the four the four kingdoms greece greece they said what um greece greece was the most subtle and it and, and it and it, con it brought men to slavery in their minds because they put forth their their literature and their thoughts and philosophy to what controlled men control their minds, which is worse than what Medo Persia and Babylon did. They, they control the body, but Greece controls the mind. This is what Satan wants. Yeah, Go ahead, Swindon. It's always about control regardless of who it is. Amen, what yes. Amen, yes. They just, yeah, they, they don't, don't want, um, they don't want, don't want the church to rule, but however, the church the system in which they 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 built will just be given onto the church. All right. Um, um, yes. I don't know how to view that at this moment. <laughs> All right. Um, Zara, ages 555, paragraph 5. Actually, um, yeah, the... This quote as well shows shows the same thing we read in 155 and 15 Amar that 
that they um bought low and sold sold high to to keep men oppressed. And this was this oppression that they brought brought upon the earth. So the Lord sends the scourge to go end end this this um financial system because this financial system is a is a tool for oppression and and speech is another tool for this oppression and the government is another tool for this oppression all these are just different tools all right so now look at daniel 9 27 looking at the cross and the cross is what breaks this system because the jews use use the 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 lambs lambs and the bulls bulls to go and make make their gain they they bought 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 those animals low the sacrifices low and sold it high so therefore the lord has to stop them in that work amen yes by using the antitypical lamb and this is where the cross comes in it says and he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease and when was this fulfilled historically 31 AD is the cross. It's the smiting of the shepherd. The smiting of the shepherd is what stops them from, from, um, from having their, their grasp on the financial structure. That's what happened at 9-11. The shepherd was smitten. The United States is the shepherd of the, United, of the, of the, of the whole world of the United Nations. The shepherd's smitten. Hmm? Amen. It's the ninth hour. Yes. And this is what we'll read. DA 756.5. When, when the loud cried, it is finished came from the list of Christ, the priests were officiating in the temple. It was the hour of the evening sacrifice. It was the ninth hour. And we know this is fully pointed forward to this, this point at the end. Let's put shepherd smitten. Showing from, from this point, there will be a financial um, recession, depression, some sort of financial loss will be from this point onward, just as it was at 9-11. Because, because we know that the east wind will blow and break the ships of Tarshish. It was the hour of the evening sacrifice. The lamb representing Christ had been brought... Had been brought to be slain, clothed, excuse me, clothed in his sign, amen, and and beautiful dress. He, the priest, stood with with lifted knife as it Abraham when 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 he, excuse me when he was about to slay his son. Jump down to the next. Next bold. Can someone read this the, the bold portion for me, please? All was terror and confusion. The priest is about to slay the victim. So the, not, the knife drops from his hand. Is it ner from his nerveless hand. And the lamb escapes. Amen. So the sacrifice escapes. The um sacrifice and the and the oblation cease. So so the thing in which they used to get gain now flees from them. The cross the cross really is the center of the whole gospel. It shows you every single thing it shows you the fall of other financial structure shows you the end end of the world it shows you it shows you the start it can it shows you everything so the smile and the shepherd shows the falling of the stock market because they used they used the the, the sacrifices and the lamb is in the bullocks and the rams to go and get gain but this the lamb here the sacrifice flees and it escapes Ah, amen, yes. In the it, because Christ took the place, mm -hmm. now they <clears throat> don't have anything to take their sin. Ah, amen. The ransom. They were now set in the, they were now prepared for the destruction at 70 AD. Mm -hmm. so once they crucified Christ, that, that, now they became the ransom. So Christ basically, it's like the signifying putting the sin on the Satan. On Satan him. himself, so amen. They had to wait until 70 AD to mm -hmm. what Christ on the cross amen so um what we saw last week is just is just it's just it's just showing us what will soon come when christ christ arises to shake terribly the earth 
the, the financial structure will fall. But if we're faithful, the, this group will be safe because, because we will be bound with Christ. And, and we've seen this already with, with the, um, amen, the virus is, is, it shut down many men's means and funds. But however, this group, because of, um, because we have lived up to the light, light in which God has sent, the Lord has helped us in this crisis at the same time. So likewise, when the shepherd is smitten here, we will be helped if we're faithful. And, but, but within the world, there'll be a civil war. There'll be much happening. And this is just only one, one portion of, of all things that will take place. Because we know, um, we, know we, saw, we saw last year all those riots and um, the riots and the mobs. All those things will rise up. So, so we have all these winds blowing at the very same time. Coming down to the last quote. Um, can someone read the bold portion for me, please? From MS 114, 1899, paragraph 7. Control the market. Amen. So the the poor will fight against the rich, and this is what we saw last week and the week before. It, it that that was a push from the poorer classes going against the richer classes. But that is just a very faint view of what what will truly come. And and Christ is trying to show us all these things so that we can get out the cities, and we might understand what will soon come. So this is just one portion of all the many things that will take place when the Lord arrives to shake terribly the earth. So, so we, we can be sure that at this point there will be, I write it up here, a civil war. The rich against the poor. And, and last year we had the battle between the blacks and the white. Everything will just rise back up and, and the earth will look horrible. The United States especially will look just it just look disgusting. But if we're found faithful, we shall be in a refuge. So with that being said, shall we close with a word of prayer? Dear Lord on high, Lord, we give thanks for 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 all that you have shown the Lord. Father, we pray next you may help us to flee 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 from self and sin so that So that we might show forth your son, son to all men, to sh to sh show them, sh to show men the strength of your word. Help us to um to to speak these things aright, so that that men might um. Men might have a sure rock, rock, a sure rock to stand upon, so that they m m might not fall as well, O Lord. And we ask all these things, and in, in in Christ's name, we pray. Amen.